everyone welcome back to my channel code with Afiz. my name is Afizullah Masudi and today I'm gonna show you how to secure your API routes in Laravel project so we will start our single page application authentication system using Laravel Sanctum which is a official package of Laravel so let's just start guys so first of all before everything let's open our project in our visual studio code text editor and in here let's go to resources js and routes.js well we want to create uh, two routes one for login and one for register so what we can do is let's copy this route and paste it and paste it again now the first one should go to slash login and it should use login component and for the name let's also say login the next one should be slash register and the component that we want to use for this uh, path let's say register and for the name let's also say register let's import these two components well we didn't have created them we will create it after we import them so let's import it after this welcome component let's create a folder by the name of auth and after that let's say login dot view and for the name let's also say login and the next one is register and this one should be also inside auth folder slash register dot view now let's create these two components so what we can do is go to this component folder right click new folder and let's name it auth and inside this auth folder let's say new file login.view and let's open our template tag and let's create a div and inside this div let's create an h5 let's say login and let's create another component let's say new file and this one should be register.view let's copy everything from login and paste it here but this instead of login let's say register now let's go and check our components so let's get back to browser and let's first hard load which is control plus f5 now let's try to go to slash login well we are not getting anything let's get back to text editor so what we can do is let's put our script tags and save it and in here let's also say script tag save it now if i go back to fish well this is still not working yeah we have to run our yarn run watch silly mistake so let's open a command prompt window let me zoom in a little bit first let's navigate our project folder so cd dot dot slash dot dot slash bar 64 slash www slash laravel view which is our project name now let's say yarn run watch so we don't have any errors and our code compiled successfully now if i go back to the browser and hardly load now let's try to go to login yeah it's working just fine so guys the next part is to secure our api routes and that is the main goal of this video so how can we do that well first of all let's open view router website so let's search for view router and let's go to this view router first link let's uh, get started so in here let's go to this route meta fields and if i scroll down yeah we want to use this block of code so let's copy it and get back to our text editor and in here where do we want to paste it well let's paste it in our app.js so open it let's paste it after this sweet 2 
input to paste it indent it a little bit we have a neat code so what we want to do now is let's create this logged in function at the top of this code so let's say function logged in because we want to uh, set the value of this logged in in here well the value that we want to set for this logged in uh, will be boolean uh, from which i mean it it will be only true or false so let's return true for now and the next part is guys to remove this auth dot because we don't need it so in here what we are telling is that if a user is not logged in so we want to redirect that user to this slash login url so let's also declare our meta field for the routes and we want to check for this requires auth so let's copy this oh, let's copy this and go to our routes.js well we want to secure this welcome lead or welcome component so let's say comma meta colon and our curly brackets and let's paste our requires auth colon true now let's copy this one from here we want to secure the create component also and the edit component too now if we go back to the browser and let's come back here and refresh yeah we are able to see it but if we go to the login well it's not working let's hold reload yeah it's not working so if i reload let's see our command prompt window if everything is working yeah everything is working just fine well guys I think I know what is the problem. If we get back to our text editor and go to this app.js, well, we are declaring the logic for a user if it is not logged in, but we are not saying anything about a user is logged in. So let's declare that also. But if I change this true to false, we'll save it and get back to our browser. And now if I refresh, it should prompt us to visit this page so refresh yeah you can see it redirected us back to the login component so let's work on uh, the other part so in here what we can do is after this else we want another if statement or else if so let's copy this code from here and paste it here and this this time we want to check for the guest if a user is uh, logged in so inside here let's cut this from here and we want to put it in here else yeah now inside this else if what we want to do is copy this if and else and paste it here but this time instead of uh, not logged in we want to check for the logged in and then we want to redirect the user to the welcome page or component so i think we are good to go so now if i change this to true which means a user is logged in so now it should redirect us back to the uh, welcome blade or component refresh well it's not working did i save my code oh we have to declare the meta tag or field for our routes also so let's get back to the text editor and copy this guest and go to this routes well in here we want to say meta colon curly brackets and guest should be true let's copy this and for the register we also want this one so now if i go back and refresh yeah you can see uh, it redirected us back to the welcome component which means the user is logged in 
so now let's get back to the text editor and make this false because it should be false and now if we go back to the browser and refresh yeah it, it is now working so guys i think this is enough for this video and you learned how to secure your api routes using vue.js and view router so in our next video we will work on how to register a user using api requests and after that we will uh, use the api to log in to the system and redirect us to the welcome component so i hope you enjoyed watching the video and don't forget to subscribe like and share the video with your friends so thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next video